Now, it might sound like something from a fairy tale, but would you believe there are everyday ingredients found right in your fridge or pantry that have magical powers? Yes, it's true, and they can empower your life if you know how to use them. Whether you want to mend your broken heart or reinvigorate your creative side, there's a remedy that could help you out. And here to explain is spiritual teacher, psychic and healer, Todd Savis. Morning, Todd. Morning, Good morning. Good morning. So you're going to solve some viewer problems this morning. Let's yep. start with a question first up from Jade. She and her family have a stray cat hanging around their house, but it's a spirit cat. Todd, what advice do you have for her? So actually this is a really exciting thing because cats are great totems. So the fact that a cat's appearing, it says that they're actually asking themselves to really get deeper into their inner knowing and into their inner spirituality. So it's not a bad omen at all. But with any sort of spirit that appears, you can actually tell it to get out. You just need to be forceful and say, you're not needed here or don't wake me up at night. So what I actually recommend food wise is to eat some blueberries. So blueberries create a harmonious environment within you, within you and the way you interact. So that will allow her to remain grounded and also to open up her awareness and just be able to communicate effectively. So eat the blueberries and then say the to the cat, go away, I don't want you here. You can also say just don't wake me up at night or don't harass me or okay. look out. That's the whole idea. They're there to look out for you. So okay. You know it's a spirit cat. Because it doesn't um, poo in your arms. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, next up is Emma, who's going through a bit of a rough spot at the moment. Mm -hmm. She really wants to move on after a relationship didn't work out. Yep. Is there a remedy for a broken heart somewhere in your fridge or your pantry? There actually is. Really? Uh, this is the best thing because it happens really quickly. So fresh basil is amazing. So what you do, you get a big bunch, and every time you feel that longing feeling or you want to cry or you just want to vomit, you need to hold it up, breathe it in, and feel it filling your heart, and you'll notice immediately that it will just clear everything. Mm. So basil's amazing. Wow. Adding it into your food as well is also really good. Mm. And then tomatoes were actually called the love of apples so they've got a huge history of being involved with any sort of love type energies they also because they're red attract positive cheese so right. great things come to you so it's really important for her to cook a lot with tomatoes Make and with basil a caprese salad exactly I tell you what's also good for a broken heart is chocolate and copious amounts of alcohol I think that works really well they feel good at the time <laughs> yeah. but then later not so not much. so good yeah. though, that's true. tequila helping out at mm. <laughs> lack of energy yeah. is also a common mm. problem um, but Jenny explained to us that health problems combined with caring for her family leaves her drained. Which pantry items, Todd, are going to solve that problem and what should she do with them? Yeah. Okay, so onions are great for drawing out of our impurities. So if she can focus on having a lot of fresh onion and raw onion, then by doing that she'll draw out the impurities and then that will start the process of healing. Oranges on top of that, because they're associated with the sun, automatically draw energy into you. So I'd recommend using both. And there is also an old wives' tale that if you get a black material bag and you put an onion in it, leave it underneath your bed or whoever's sick, and then you throw it out at the end of the week, it'll draw in more impurities as well. I heard that. Oh. that onions soak everything up, Larry. They do. And that you shouldn't, you know how if you use half an onion and yes. you put the other half back in the fridge? Yes. Don't do that. Because they soak every, all the yep. stuff up in the fridge. They soak it all in. That's why I put it in one of those kryptonite bags. So I can't do anything like that bad in the fridge. Next up, a rather unusual problem as opposed to that one that's kind of normal. Samantha seems to have lost a bit of her creative streak since her dad passed away. What do you make of that? You know, we can be profoundly affected by yeah. this sort of stuff. And so oftentimes that can be because the spirit hasn't moved on and so they're around because they want to communicate with you. Yeah. And so what I was specifically getting in regards to that is that her dad really wants her to write a lot more, like through a journal, rather than trying to go straight back to painting and drawing. Mm. So with this, a great thing is to use some fresh sage and also some dried sage. Dried sage burns and clears everything out, but fresh sage activates anything artistic within you and also opens up your throat. That's this one here. That's the dry yeah, version. Because the crew was very interested in that until they realised it was sage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very interested. <laughs> Alright. Now, Sarah, Sarah, wrote to, Sarah wrote to us. Uh, she wants to get rid of some spirits from her office. Mm -hmm. Don't we all? Talk, what, what do you suggest that she does? It does feel as though there are a couple of spirits in that particular place, but it doesn't feel like they're malicious or anything like that. 
but we use salt to create sacred spaces. So anything negative can't cross a barrier created by salt. So I recommend that she take some fresh salt and put it in each of the corners of the office mm. and then vacuums it up the next day. You can also then, if it still feels really present, tell them to get out. Wow, okay. so it's a barrier. You can't mm -hmm. cross the salt thing. Yep. Just, qu right. just quickly. <laughs> That's right. That's why it's good. I don't care. I've got the crew and it's Friday. <laughs> Friday, Friday, Friday. Um, Todd, thank you. Uh, just just before pleasure. you go, really quickly, we, we yeah. are out of time. Can, can, can foods throw this off completely? So we had Chinese last night with the deep fried stuff and the chicken and black bean sauce. Yeah, Garlic sorry about prawn. that. Can, can, can having a bad meal like ruin all of this stuff you're talking about? It's more so because it creates a negative thought pattern and that yeah. then throws you off. But Foods are ready to use specifically for you as soon as you want to connect with it again. So right. do it today. Okay. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you so much. So much. Oh, very, very we'll interesting. Look at the Makes you look at the yeah, the fridge a whole different way, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> yes. And the crew a whole different way too. <laughs>